Hello everybody, it's Blockaduck, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.20.1. So the first thing you want to do is, you want to click on the first link in the description, that's going to be the link to download Fabric. So right here, you want to click where it says Download Universal Jar, and it's going to go ahead and download that. Now what you want to do is, you want to go to Fabric API, and under the File section, you want to click on the one that says 1.20.1, .1, and then you want to click where it says Download and it's going to go ahead and take five seconds to download uh, Fabric API, and then it'll go ahead and begin to download. Now, while we wait for that to download, we can click on the third link in the description. It's going to be a link to Sodium. Right here, you want to click on the one that says 1.20.1, .1, and you want to click on this little uh, download button, and it's going to download Sodium. And last but not least, you want to click where it says Iris 1.20.1 um, .1 right here, and you want to click on that green download button, and it's going to download Iris. Um, now we have downloaded all four files, but it doesn't quite end there. Um, so next, what you want to do is you want to click on the little arrow next to the Fabric Installer right here. And then you want to click where it says Open. And then um, it's going to go ahead and open up the Fabric Installer here for us. Alright, there we go. And right now you want to make sure 1.20.1 .1 is selected. If you click this little arrow, you can choose from all the different versions. But you just want to select 1.20.1. .1 and click on where it says install and um, it's going to go ahead and install and now you can just click on OK and you can actually close out of this tab altogether. So the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the arrow next to the Fabric API and you want to click where it says show in folder. Alright, and it's going to open up your downloads folder where you can see all of these. Now you have Sodium, you've got Fabric API and you also have Iris. So all three of those you're going to need in order to get everything working smoothly. So for right now, we can minimize out of that folder. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the search bar on your computer. And you're going to type percentage app data percentage. Right like that. And then you're going to click on this little folder that pops up right here. For some reason, it wasn't showing my folder icon. But anyways, now you can click where it says .minecraft. And you want to scroll down until you find the mods folder. Now, if you've never downloaded a mod before, you're going to have to create a new folder named mods. You can do that by right-clicking new and folder and then you can just create your folder and name it mods uh make sure you do all lowercase also and if we double click on that it's going to say that our folder is empty so we can drag this off to the side and we're going to take our downloads folder and we're just going to select all three of these we've got iris sodium and fabric api and we're just going to drag and drop all three of them straight into our mods folder and now we can actually just close out of both of these folders we can actually close out of google chrome uh and we're back at the home screen so now that you're on the home screen you want to go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher which is this new creeper icon right down here and that's going to go ahead and um launch minecraft and while we're waiting for the launcher to open be sure to subscribe if you haven't already There we go. So the launcher is loaded up and um, by default, it's going to say Fabric Loader 1.20.1. .1. You want to make sure that one's um, selected. If it's not, you can just click in this little arrow right here and it's going to show all of the releases that you have. So just going to choose that one. We're going to click this play button and it's just going to click this little checkbox and click play again. And then uh, Minecraft 1.20.1 .1 will load up for you. So once you have uh, Fabric API, Sodium, and Iris installed, it's time to actually begin downloading the shader. So you can now click on this link in the description. It's going to be the, uh, I believe, fifth link. And it's going to take you off to the shaders pack right here. Um, now this is CurseForge's shader website. So from here you can choose whatever shader you want. And there are a ton of different options to choose from. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to choose one that says 1.20. Like this BSL shaders right here. We're going to click on it. All right, and then we're going to click on where it says files, and we're going to just choose the one that says 1.20. So we're going to click on that one, and then we're going to click where it says download. All right, and then it's going to go ahead and take, um, you know, it's going to take five seconds to download just like the mods that we did. And then it's going to show up in this little zip file right here. Um, so now that we have the zip file, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and open up our downloads folder again by clicking on that show in folder. All right, so here we go. We have our downloads folder open. On, and now we can minimize out of this. Same thing that we did with the mods. And next, we're going to open up the search bar of our computer. We're going to type in percentage app data percentage, uh, just like we did with the mods. We're going to click on this app data folder right here. And now we're going to click where it says .minecraft. And 
This time you want to scroll down and you want to choose the one that says shader packs. Alright, uh, so we're not using the mods folder this time. This time we're going to the shader packs folder. So once you're here, it's going to say this folder is empty. And we're just going to drag and drop the shader that we downloaded, which in this case, oh, it's the BSL shader. Um, straight from our downloads folder to our mods folder. And you are going to have to move the folders around a little bit just to drag and drop it. But there we go. As you can see, we now have the actual shader in our shaders folder. So we can close out of both of these now. Alright, and we can actually go ahead and open up Minecraft again. And once you're here on the Minecraft uh, homepage, you want to click where it says Options, Video Settings. And this time we're going to go over to Shader Packs, and we have this BSL shader. We're going to click on it, we're going to click Apply, and then it's going to go ahead and load up. We can click Done, Done again, Done again. We're going to load up uh, just one of our Minecraft worlds. Here we go. So we'll just pick this random one, and it's going to go ahead and load up the new world with our shader pack installed in a Minecraft 1.20. Alrighty, so here we are in this brand new Minecraft world right here, and uh, as you can see, if you look at the top left corner of our screen, I am recording in full screen mode, so you can see where it says Minecraft 1.20.1 single player, and we have shaders installed in this world, you can see the sun, the water, the trees, uh, this lovely village, everything is included with the new BSL shaders and that's pretty much all you have to do in order to download shaders in Minecraft 1.20.1. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.